One of the trickiest hybrids to sort out are roach rud hybrids. Uh, when we call them roach rud, the first fish we name is scientifically it should be the maternal side so that would be a female roach and a male rud. Um, we rarely call them rud roach, usually roach rud, it's just a ease of saying it. We can't tell easily which fish was the mother side without doing a mitochondrial DNA test, that's not going to happen. So I'm just going to use the term roach rud. What I'd like to do is to look at uh, carefully look at some pictures of true roach and then true rud and to see the difference the basic differences between roach and rud and then we can look at a roach rud hybrid if we look at this picture of a roach we look at the mouth first we can see that the top lip tends to be um, is angled in a way that it's pointing downwards with a roach that's the first thing to look out for. For colour, there's generally a blue sheen to a roach. And similarly with the fins, they tend to be translucent with roach. With rud, we'll see much more uh, opaqueness with the fins. With the hybrid, somewhere in between, a sort of half opaque, half translucent. Look at the dorsal fin, see where it's set, the front edge of it is set very fractionally behind the pelvic fins not very much behind it now that's going to vary a bit with the shape of the roach but generally a roach is slimmer than a rud and less thick set rud length for length will tend to weigh a bit more than a roach background color to the back of a rud far more so than a roach which is more sort of a brainy green almost bluish sometimes. The fins are far more opaque. Uh, there, there's a depth of colour there with a rud. The dorsal, the leading edge, is set almost level with the rear edge of the pelvic fin, so it's quite a long way back. The pelvic keel, which I said in the first video, with the rud it's fairly sharp, with the roach it's rounded, and the hybrid it's somewhere in between very hard to photograph even in video you don't really see that unless you're very careful now let's look at some roach rud hybrids because we don't know which fish was the female parent and the male parent we don't exactly know how the different characteristics get mixed up in the mix we tend to assume that a fish like a roach rod hybrid is somewhere in between on the characteristics and that's fairly true but some seem to be skewed towards rud some towards roach whether that depends on which parent is a female which is a male i don't know i've, I've not yet seen that in print anywhere where it's been proven and you'd have to do a mitochondrial dna test on each one that you've checked out you'd have to do it on many many fish to to one hidden thing we can't look at, of course, is the pharyngeal teeth, and, and the pharyngeal teeth for roach and rud are different. The number of teeth, and the hybrid again is midway. The, so if we look at this hybrid, the lips on the fish are more or less level. Uh, the mouth may be slightly upward pointing, it may be slightly downward pointing, but quite often fairly level. Doesn't look right for a roach, but not quite right for a rud. It's thicker set than a true roach. And that dorsal fin is now, the leading edge is more or less halfway down the length of the pelvic fins. It's said that you can count down the scale rows and prove whether it's a roach or a rud. Is that method a proven one? I don't know. But to prove it, you'd have to take a large number of samples, certainly well over a hundred of roach, rud, and hybrids prove them to be hybrids through dna testing because that's the only way you're going to be really sure and then test that method and see if it gets a hundred percent result or not some fish the scaling is so mixed up uh, this one here is from uh, loch nor in scotland and the scales are so jumbled 
there's no way your follow through scale um, columns. The fins have not got that solid opaqueness of a rud, nor the translucence of a roach. The opaqueness seems to start halfway down the fins, which is weird, but there we go again. And the coloration has not got that depth of colour of the rud, nor the sort of delicateness of the roach. And that blue tinge seems to have gone, just not there anymore. Roach rud hybrids, mostly an experienced eye, and I think I'd count myself a while, can recognise them for what they are something in between but you need to catch a lot you need to be catching lots of roach and rud from the same water to spot them one water i'm fishing at the moment creekmore ponds there are three big fish in there that are all slightly different one is just under two pounds like about one pound fifteen and it's clearly a roach rud hybrid no doubt about it in my mind at all one fractionally bigger two pounds it sort of looks like a roach the mouth is very small, very a little bit strange. The dorsal set back a bit, more delicately coloured than the hybrid that's a little bit smaller. Is it a roach or is it just skewed towards a roach and really a hybrid? And there's a third fish that looks like a true rud at £1.11. Caught all of these several times. And yet the coloration's good for a rud. The dorsal doesn't seem set back that far. Maybe it is a true rud and I'd happily accept it for that. It's not going to win any prizes anywhere. Nothing to worry about there. So if you do catch fish or not sure of, take lots of good photos from all angles, especially focusing on the mouth. See if you can photograph that abdominal keel and be prepared to accept that maybe you're not catching true roach after all. The fact that they're so easy to catch, I don't know why this is, is often a small group of fish get caught over and over again, not even in the same swim. Uh, a couple of waters I've fished of anything between one and three acres, they turn up here, there and everywhere. It's almost like start firing some bait in and they come running and then you catch them. Sometimes the first fish you catch. Why that is, I have no idea at all, but uh, Maybe someone can tell me. Probably the most common roach hybrid is roach crossed with bream. These are much easier to tell apart from true roach or true bream. Uh, the anal fin has got far more rays than a true roach, but less than that of a bream. There's a sort of greyness about them. I can only describe it as that. Um, some people who fish the test regularly tell me that occasionally they catch quite big roach bream hybrids, three pounds or more, and they get all excited when they hit this heavy thumping fish in a fast current. Have they hooked into the roach of a lifetime? And then they get it in and they look at it and it's got that funny browny grey look to it. The fins are sort of washed out. The mouth doesn't look quite right. The anal fin is definitely much too long and they know they've got a roach bream hybrid and roach bream hybrids grow to I've got a feeling the biggest ever recorded is over nine pounds in the UK and certainly three pounders are fairly common that's the size I've caught them to never caught a bigger one than that and sometimes some waters where there's lots of bream and lots of roach and uh, circumstances dictate a spawning year where the two mix up together maybe the roach were delayed until the time of the bream spawning Maybe there's not very good spawning grounds. You get roach bream hybrids by the score. Uh, Whitemore, Main Lake, um, I've not caught anything up to 20 or 30 at a go. Mostly very small ones, very easy to recognise. There's loads in there, all different year classes. Occasionally I've caught a much bigger one in there, two, two and a half pounds. I get excited in there. I'm hitting roach, hoping for one's over a pound and suddenly hit this much bigger fish. They often fight quite hard. Up comes a big dorsal fin and you think, well, maybe it's a roach. And then you get it in and you think, ah, it's a roach bream hybrid. 
problem with roach bream hybrids in certain waters like the Witham, the Trent, the Thames, the Bristol Avon, uh, they get mistaken for silver bream. So people say they're catching lots of hybrids when actually they're catching lots of silver bream. It's very rare in a river to catch a silver bream much over a pound. Uh, there are ones in the Thames over a pound, I've caught them. And I've seen one or two in the Bristol Avon over that side, but generally they're fairly small fish of a few ounces and they're prolific. They've got massive eyes, silver bream. The scale count of a silver bream compared to a bronze bream is quite a bit lower. And the anal fin ray count is very similar to a roach bream hybrid. They're more silvery and there's a certain sort of shape and look to them that's different to a roach bream hybrid. A roach bream hybrid is almost a diamond shape and a silver bream is more rounded. It's the only way I can describe it when you look at it side on. Worth noting the difference, understanding when you're catching them. You often see reports about lots of hybrids coming from waters like the Lower Trent, sometimes the Thames or the Bristol Avon, and quite often they're really silver bream because people just can't tell the difference. A couple of times on matches on the Bristol Avon years ago, people bet me £100 that what I was catching and I had 30 or 40 were really hybrids, not silver bream, as I said. A couple of times there were in those times, there were people who were, worked for the EA and they took a couple of small ones as samples and got them checked by the river labs. They came back as silver bream, as I said. There are silver bream hybrids. I've had silver bream roach hybrids, not very many, and silver bream rud hybrids. Again, pretty rare because there aren't that many rud in the rivers where the silver bream are. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and uh, I'll carry on building up the channel. The next one will be about crucians, goldfish, gibel carp, and what are commonly known as F1s, which are hybrids with carp, but of course there are hybrids between goldfish and crucians, just to add to the confusion.